Well, apparently the proxy fight is now over. We're going to get the Disney shareholder meeting this morning uh, at 10 Pacific time, I do believe. But the early reports indicate that Nelson Peltz and Blackwell's capital has been defeated in the Disney proxy fight. Uh, the news is coming to us actually from Reuters. Uh, it's an exclusive saying that Disney has prevailed over Tryon in the board fight. And, you know, many people aren't going to take this uh, legitimately. And what it means is this. According to them, they have now secured enough percentage of the shareholder votes where all 12 of the people who currently have a seat on the board have all been reelected. They're all back. So Nelson Peltz and Blackwell's capital have lost their proxy fight, according to this news, to get their nominees onto the Disney board of directors. This is potentially a huge loss for Disney. Many people aren't going to see it that way. You're just adding these people back to the board, which means that we're probably just going to be getting more of the same. Ahead of Disney's annual shareholder meeting today, the company announced that their current board of directors was successfully reelected. Now, again, this is according to, to Reuters. Now, uh, that's actually factually incorrect by WDW News Today, saying that the company announced that. No, they didn't. Reuters actually reached out to both Tryon and the Walt Disney Company for a comment. Both declined comments. So is this a potential leak from Disney? Is this trying to squash the rebellion? Uh, who knows? Maybe it's legit. Maybe it's legitimate. Uh, I'm just going to have to go on record here and say, unfortunately, I do believe that it is legitimate. They have secured enough percentage of the votes. You could start voting days in advance. So the people are already voting. Well, the the people who already have seats have been reelected, according to the report at Reuters. Um, it says the result of this year's most high profile board fight will be announced at Disney's annual shareholder meeting today on on Wednesday. And the sources cautioned that there was always a possibility that some shareholders may change their vote. They requested anonymity ahead of an official announcement. Spokespeople for Disney did not immediately respond to a request for comment. Trine and Blackwells also had no comment. So it appears that Nelson Peltz, if this is accurate, is out. Now, piggybacking on that, you've got Disney stock analysts boosting the price target of the shares by $15. They're saying once this is announced publicly to everybody from the company, the stock is going to rocket up. Well, let's just see if that happens. I know one thing. Disney has to make changes because we've got reports like this. You know, we heard about Indiana Jones. We know about the Marvels. Just the two of these together confirms a nearly $400 million loss for the Walt Disney Company. They have got to get things back on target. And Bob Iger isn't going to be around very much longer. Does this put heat on Bob Iger? You know, the new thing that we got to be looking at is succession. Who is going to be taking over, uh, you know, his place as CEO of the Walt Disney Company when he leaves? That's going to be huge. They can't make the same mistake like they did last time. Um, so, you know, an unfortunate day for many fans who is wanting to see change. But ultimately, um, it all comes down to content and agenda and the message. And if they can get those things fixed, which I highly doubt that they can, then things are going to be better. It ultimately doesn't matter if, if Nelson Peltz is one seat on the board or not, you know, and maybe, maybe if he was closer than ever before to actually pulling this off, maybe that will be a big red flag. And who knows in the future, maybe he wins that seat. Let me know in the comments what you think about all this. We are UR Echo Base Network. See you guys on the next one.